are running away from the rain again and we come into the rain again and we <laughs> end up in the rain again so it's been a real bloody nightmare we just spent um, a couple of days up in Cairns to to get the car sorted, get a service done. We had to get some major repairs done. It's so busy at the moment, we could not stay any longer in Cairns. It was already pretty hard to get any site booked in. So we decided to uh, backtrack a little bit, come a bit further south um, and spend a few days around Babinda. Anyway, make a long story short, we are going not to a private campsite. You can only find this place through wiki camps it's not a hip camp you have to call the guy up say when you're arriving and then he'll, he'll put you in his books it looked pretty cool from the picture that I've seen so it's going to be a surprise it's going to be the first one um, we do where we uh, go on a private land camping eh Jenny yeah yeah we haven't done that before always wanted to do it but the opportunity was never there so now we're going to try to do that a bit more often try to use a few hip camps and uh, try to get a few more private sites and see what it's like you know you don't know unless you tested it mm. all right we'll, we'll go there first i'll show you around a little bit <laughs> But we get stuck straight away. So, <laughs> and yeah, the rain has not—it's not been pleasant to anyone. Even the owner here said he's had enough of it. They had a rain here for weeks. So we're going to get set up over here. Beautiful little spot, um, just close by to the um, Josephine Falls, actually, which is just around the corner here. So let's mm. get up. There we go. That's us set up. How good is that? Only took us an hour or so. <laughs> Again. <laughs> After we um, starting to get it down packed now, we're down to about one and a half hours this morning again. Which is all right. So yeah, beautiful little spot, uh, right by the road here, unfortunately. But um, yeah, <laughs> the end of the world. And it's really, really nice. Steve, his name, super nice guy. Yeah, it's got a, a bit of a backyard here. Yeah, it's an easy one. I think it's ten bucks a night or something. Anyway, so we were here for a couple of nights. Um, just trying to explore the area. I was going to do the hike up to Mount Bartle Free, or whatever it's called, which is Queensland's highest mountain. Unfortunately, the weather is probably stopping me from doing that. It's all cloudy, as you can see, and I know climbing a mountain is hard enough, but you want at least a bit of a view once you get up there, and the, the views are spectacular. Look, if it's raining like this, it might not make any sense because you'll get up there, you'll be in, de in dense fog or in the clouds and you won't see any of it. Plus my knee's still giving me a bit of grief. So I'll do a couple of smaller hikes around the area. We'll definitely check out Josephine Falls and we will check out Babinda Boulders. So that's coming up. We've got to wait a little bit here um, to get stuff done in Cairns. Camper trailer still needs a wheel alignment. So I had some really bad wear on my tires. Check this out. Look at that. Look at this uneven wear. First time I've ever seen this. It looks weird. Look how uneven it's worn out. Like if it's in the inside, I would say, yeah, there's some, um, it's, you know, the camber is off or something, but it's not. It's actually, yeah, it's really weird wear. And then uh, one of the guys in the caravan park told me, he said, oh, look, mate, have you done a uh, wheel alignment? And I'm thinking, bugger me. Last time I've done my suspension upgrade, um, I haven't done a wheel alignment ever. So he reckons it's probably due to the wheel alignment, which would make sense. So we booked it in Cairns. We have to wait though until we well, have to wait another week before we can get into it. Um, so I have to have to hang around here for a little bit and just yeah, explore the area, check it out. Hopefully the weather turns good. Hmm. Hot. I'm gonna set up the camera trailer. Goodness, set up with a fan here. Yeah. Portable fan. <laughs> oh. It is actually daytime. What well, looks like nighttime in there. 
It's that's, normal in the jungle like this. It doesn't look like in the jungle. It's always look like that. He say no light come through to the floor here. In the jungle. I think it helps if you open the windows. Located just a stone throw away from Josephine Falls, Camp Bartle is the perfect location for a base camp and to set out and explore the surrounding area. There are also some longer hiking trails nearby such as the Wanker Roof Falls. We'll put a link into the description for you if you're interested. Well, that's our weather today and it is meant to be bucketing down. We've planned for a day in the camper, editing, getting some stuff done and now the weather turns like this. Oh my God. Anyway, we're in a beautiful little spot here. I just wanted to show you guys that again. Um, beautiful hosts here, super nice people. They just showed us around their property a little bit. There's lots of spaces here for campers to come and set up. Uh, they've got a little stream down there, which is awesome. And um, yeah, it's close by their house, um, but that's all right, because you've still got privacy here. And there uh, lots of beautiful birds hanging around here. It's an amazing little spot. All right, so we're seizing the opportunity with the good weather to actually get out the side and go and explore uh, Branston Beach. Yeah. Right, so that's where we're heading now. Let's go. All right, now Branston Beach is about 20 minutes drive from this campsite. Now, Bramson Beach has a caravan park mm -hmm. and it also has um, campsites from the national parks. Yeah. And uh, that's probably where we're heading. So, we're going to suss it out today. Um, if it's only a 20 minutes drive, it's might as well worth having a look, you know? Yeah. And see um, if we go there or not. Now, with the national park campsites, we've done what everyone else has done just now, so we're guilty as charged. We've put one person in for the site and uh, to basically lock it in and then we'll see if we go or not and this is this is the stupid thing about these national park campsites is they cost you seven bucks a night for one person but that basically locks the whole campsite into for you which is good if you want to plan ahead but when you actually want to do a quick stay at one of these places you find out that all the sites are booked out and you get there and hardly anyone is there there's seven dollars most people don't care about it I just book two, three weeks. Sometimes they book a whole month for it, and then uh, they'll decide whether they go within that month. So it is. Push me out. Yeah. Not a good system, National Parks. Put the honesty system back in. Register. You register when you get there. We're here at Bramston Beach now, uh, checking out the boat ramp. Not a very usable boat ramp because the water now <laughs> just stops right there. Oh, you have to go in the creek. <laughs> Unless you are, uh, yeah, you're going up the creek. But it's a beautiful spot out here. Check this out. Wow. Look at this, yeah boy. And this is right next to the caravan park. I don't know if you can see behind the door. There's a couple of setups right there. Right, so now we're on our way to the National Park campsites. 
which is just on the northern side of Graham Beach. I've put a map in there now so you can see what that looks like. So on the bottom part, you've got the Caravan Park, which is still pretty laid back and relaxed. Further a bit north, uh, you've got the National Park with their campsites. Campsites here, about seven bucks a night, and at the Caravan Park, if I'm not mistaken, it was about 30 bucks a night. Got to say, um, Caravan Park, though, you have amenities, so they have costs, running costs, that's fair enough. And the National Park campsites, it's just a spot, uh, there's no toilets, you have to be fully self-sufficient, but you're right in amongst the trees. And so we just pulled up on a little side road here, which was just off the, uh, the road that goes along uh, Bramston Beach. Pulled in, had a look, and there was heaps of campsites. And we asked one of the blokes that was living here, who was like, what is this? And he's like, it's free campsites. And it's not on Wikicam, so it's a <laughs> secret. Oh, oh, we found a free secret. Let's check it out. <laughs> There's the sites up there. A few more sites here. Look at that. How's that for a campsite? Yeah, look, there's a couple of people in there. Um, obviously, with three camps, it's always a bit of a thing, you know. Uh, everyone locks up, so as soon as they pop up, so they get taken, can't book them in, so it's a bit of a hit and miss. But yeah, look out, check out this camp here. That's perfect. That's a wicked a uh, secret campsite. So not on wiki camps, man. How's that possible? You ain't gonna put it up. You only get the knowledge from us, and we'll show you where it is. If you drop a comment below, how's that? Just driving in another road that leads off on to the, towards the beach. It's a bit mm, overgrown. Squishy. <laughs> and a bit scratchy along, a bit windy. But yeah, track. you never know unless you have a go. Oh yeah, pretty awesome. We just found a few camps um just right on the beach, man. Like definitely an unofficial track. It's not on the maps or anything. But yeah, if you know the area, wow. This is cool. This is like Brian Beach Camping. That's a secret spot, guys. Hey, look at this. Check out this campsite. Check out that. Take on your rubbish, guys. Don't leave it out here, that's no good. Even though it's tin, but just take it home. Mm. Wow. Look at this air! How cool is that? <laughs> How good Check this out. How nice is this spot? Beautiful. Nice with the breeze and got the jungle protect behind. So a little bit of privacy. No, a little bit. Yeah. A lot of privacy. So we now got to the National Park campsites. Yeah, we're trying to look for the one that we actually booked and that's where we're going in the next episode by the way yeah. we are going to the uh, Graham Graham Farmer yeah. Graham Farmer National Park is that what it's called Graham National Park Graham National Park yeah it's right next to the Russell River and they've got um, paid campsites like I said seven bucks an night um, which is not the end of the world and we thought this was all like in one area, but they, they must be separated because we saw campsite number one. Yeah, and at the this entry. Is, this was right at the entry, and um, yeah. Yes, and number two, we saw campsite. There we go, yeah. All right, that's the campsite that we booked from the National Park. And the water is down there. Look, not the end of the world. 
Yeah, definitely the free cam sites were better. They were more closer to... This would have been the right spot. This would have been the perfect spot to set up the, um, the campsites. I don't know why they put it up there. Have a look. Not too bad, I guess. Here comes the bloody rain clouds again. Look at them. Over it. Over it. So, got to walk a little bit. You can always set up, um, set up your camp chairs and stuff right in the front. You just got to walk them down. I set up my beer, you got a good view. All right, well that was Bramston Beach. We just uh, wanted to come down, show you guys what it's like. Now, like I said, we were planned um, to come down here to, to stay at the National Park's campsites, but we're just not sure if we should do it. Yeah. Two reasons for that. Number one is the weather is a bit of a concern. Like yeah. these sites are really nice, mm -hmm. but you want to have good weather because there's not much else you can do. Yeah. Um, Unless you just want to relax and hang out, that's fine. But if you if you don't have editing to do, yeah, we've got a fair bit of editing to do. Yeah, um, we've got no reception down there, or very very little. This so. is our first concern. So reception. if we've got nothing else to do, we've got to get some editing done um, to bring you these videos. So there's nothing else really we could do there. If the weather was nice, so yeah, it's yeah, good. Today yeah, it's not too bad. You can't obviously swim there. But mm. you can have a fish or something, but mm. I don't know. We might we might go there, we might not. We'll go suss it out. We've got to check the weather report every day and see what's yeah. happening. But it's a real pain in the back at the moment with the weather. Yeah. Um, we can't go hiking. We can't go to some yeah. of the waterfalls. Yeah. We can't go to the beach. We can't leave the area because we're waiting uh, for the cars to get fixed. Yeah. Yeah. Morning everyone, we're off to Josephine Falls and Babunda Boulders today. First stop is Josephine Falls, which is literally walking distance from our campsite, super nice. So there's a 700 meter walk from the car park to the falls through some really beautiful rainforest. <laughs> you can see Jenny's all geared up again, yeah. even though the footpath is all bitumen. But she's uh, taking extra precautions. Safety first. I'm worried about her little friends again. <laughs> Beautiful little trail though, check it out. Check out Jenny's hiking gear for this epic 700 meter track. This is story is about the leeches, so I have to wear something that protect myself. Safety first. Who knows? Now check out this leech infested track here. <laughs> Jen, it's bloody bitumen. It's gonna be appreciated to come with you. Otherwise, you should come by yourself. So, okay, we are here, bottom pool, middle creek, middle creek platform, and the viewing platform. So, we have a few places to go, that's pretty cool. I thought there was only one spot, but yeah, there's three in total, so go check out the bottom pool. Yeah, very well maintained, beautiful track, easy walk in, easy walk out. So that's um, that's just been full. Yeah, that's the rock slide right there. So we're going to try and uh, do a little bit of rock sliding. Oh. What do you reckon, Jen? You go first. I sent a shout for demo. <laughs> What's 
rocks on the bottom. I have no idea if I want to hit a rock or not. Go on this one. We Whoa. make out for the thrill of it. Mess around for the thrill of it. Don't stop now. Never let the sand for the thrill of it. That's where you're going down. Alright guys, that was Babinda Boulders. So a nice place to go if you want to have a relaxed swim. Um, even though the car park looked super busy, it actually wasn't, because it's pretty wide. So there's a yeah. long walking track you see in there that goes, or follows the river. Um, unfortunately you can't swim anywhere um, other than the main, the main sort of yeah, access main area, main yeah. pool area there, which is pretty flat. Easy if you got kids, you know, they it's can have a kid, yeah. splash around there. There's like a little platform um, 
for you to go in. So, mm. all right, well, that's it for this episode, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, you'll probably see us in the next episode. Well, I hope you see us in the next episode. <laughs> Don't forget, hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video and the notification bell if you want to get notified for new videos. Go like that. <laughs> the next episode, we will head finally head to Cape York with yeah. the first stop uh, being either Port Douglas or Daintree straight away. We'll mm. see you there, guys. See you.